downtown Chicago. I'm your Dallas Cowboy insider, Josh Benson here. And I'm going to give you a quick review of what happened last night as the Dallas Cowboys invaded the Green Bay Packers and they won that game 30 to 16. Hey, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, that offensive line, all the three keys that I gave you guys in the pregame was everything that they did. Hey, let's talk about that for a second. Ezekiel Elliott in this rushing game that the Dallas Cowboys did, as you can see right there on your screen, they to had a total rushing of 191 yards, and Ezekiel Elliott carried 157 of those yards. Here on the next screen, you can see Eddie Lacy uh, did do his part as far as running. He had 17 carries for 65 yards, but the team only totaled 78 yards, and that was really a difference maker in the game because uh, Dallas could definitely throw a lot of tricks at the Green Bay Packers defense. You know, Prescott, whether he was passing it or he was giving it off to Ezekiel Elliott to run it, they just kept throwing mixed bags over at the at the Green Bay defense, and they just really didn't know how to respond from that. And let's take a look at Prescott, for example. He was 18 for 27 for 247 yards, and he had a total of three touchdowns. And Aaron Rodgers had a, a fair night himself, 31 out of 42, but for 294 yards, but he only had one touchdown. And again, I, as I mentioned in my keys, the biggest thing that the Dallas Cowboys defense needed to do, that was contain Aaron Rodgers, and they did that. They contained him to one touchdown late in the fourth quarter, and that was the difference maker in the game. But looking into next week, the Dallas Cowboys now go into a bye. If you're down in Dallas, everyone is talking about what's going to happen with Dak Prescott and Tony Romo is expected to come back uh, when they get ready to take on Eagles on October 30th. Everyone knows right now, as long as Dak Prescott continues to do what he's doing, he is going to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, granted, if something happened where he starts to, you know, turn the ball over a lot and really start looking like a rookie, then, of course, Tony Romo will slide in. But this is a great situation for the Dallas Cowboys to be in, mainly because you have Romo who can take his time to get healthy. There's no rush. There's not a sense of urgency. Like, even if the Cowboys dropped a couple of games, I mean, they have – started quite well so far in these six weeks the green bay packers must bounce back and they will have an easy task doing that this coming thursday they're playing the chicago bears who here in chicago face the jacksonville jaguars they gave up 13 points in the fourth quarter and lost that game 17 to 16. john head coach john fox of the chicago bears job is obviously on the line as we don't know what is going on in Chicago with that offense. Jay Cutler is injured. Is he is he's going to be their starting quarterback or are they going to go with Brian Warrior? It's just so many different things going on. The Detroit Lions actually got a win today, and, and they're going to face the Washington Redskins, who are second in the NFC East. So Dallas to get a chance to take a break as they dominated the Green Bay Packers up in Lambeau Field. But as for now, Reporting here in downtown Chicago, Illinois, for Fox Sports 1340 AM, your number one source for all things Dallas Cowboys in the Mid-Atlantic. I'm Josh Vincent, your Cowboys insider. You guys have a good evening.